Shannon, uh, your film, The Gig Is Up, uh, it's all about the gig economy, precarious employment and exploitation of workers. Just give us uh, a, a brief summation of uh, the film and why you made it. Yeah, so the gig is up really gets behind the technology to take a look at um, the people who actually arrive at your doorstep and do the things behind the app that you tap so um, easily on your phone. So um, I really wanted to tell the story of um, who are those people because so often they're written out of the story of technology. And so the film is kind of a global expose expose that looks at people all over the world who are doing this kind of work. And uh, what was the impulse to make it? Because it's um, surprising to me that this film hasn't been made before now. Yeah, myself, I was even surprised as I started on the journey to think, wow, people haven't focused in on the people doing the work behind technology. My own fascination had started, um, you know, I'd been interested in the evolution of fourth wave capitalism and what did it look like to think about um, our techno utopianism. So my last film, I'd really thought about how does that look when we think that technology is going to save us from environmental crisis and lets us kick it down the road, um, this kind of illusion that technology will save us. And so in this film, um, I was thinking that through human labor and what did it look like when we thought technology hides and gives us an illusion of magic that's happening um, by a bunch of guys in, in button up shirts when actually it's everyday people who are um, often working under conditions that um, would be unacceptable even 100 years ago. So I was really, really curious to, to kind of unpack how also technology sometimes is a, is a foil that allows certain kinds of practices and illusions to, to hide behind. And um, when you started, films, of course, always change filmmakers. You, you start at a point, you don't really know where you're going to get to by the time you get to the end of it. What changed most uh, in, during that journey, if I can put it that way, uh, for you personally? Yeah, for me, I definitely understood the gig economy as something resembling more like what I did at the beginning, you know, understanding it a bit more of like precarious work that is piecemeal work, like what we saw at the early um, turn of the century. Um, through researching the film and understanding that the platform economy presents a whole new type of mechanism um, for how work is organized across the board. It's not only in these tiny bits of, of uh, occasional work, uh, someone delivering food to your house or helping AI. That was a real revelation for me and understanding what um, algorithms had to play the way that labor laws had really roll, rolled back. Um, I learned a ton about that and definitely that 80% of this work is happening behind screens is invisible, what Mary Gray calls ghost work. Um, that was incredibly fascinating to me and I, and I uh, veered quite a bit in the film to try to cover some of that. Um, and I didn't know that in, in setting out on the project.